Coral reefs are incredibly important. Not only are they beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, I think sometimes you forget that they are providing these really important services to humankind. They're a major economic force. They drive tourism in many locations that are surrounded by coral reefs. They provide a food source for hundreds of thousands of people. They are actually really important in buffering island nations from wave action, so from storms. I think a lot of coral reef scientists at the moment are concerned that coral reefs are currently going a mass extinction event, that we will lose species entirely in the next 10 to 15 years because of heating oceans. I'm Dr. Gretchen Goodbody. I am the Director of Research and Education at the Central Caribbean Marine Institute in the Cayman Islands. I spend my life trying to better understand the ocean and the organisms that live in it in order to help protect it. This project came about really out of my imagination when I first moved to Cayman. I heard about these seamounts. One of them is just 12 miles west of Grand Cayman, and then there's this other one, which is where we're going for this expedition, which is almost halfway to Cuba. Where we're going, yeah, you can't see on this map. <laughs> You know, I like this idea of going to places where not very many people have been. The fact that I am a technical rebreather diver gives me the opportunity to access some of these sites that most people can't ever access. Being able to describe the biodiversity of a location that has not been described before, I think that's exciting. And so that's really the key to this, is that we have to know the organisms that live there and why they're distributed the way they are in order for us to be able to actively and effectively protect them. And luckily, our grant application was successful and we were funded by the Darwin Initiative from the UK Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. The goal of the project is to describe the biodiversity of the benthos and the pelagic organisms on offshore seamounts that remain unexplored in the Cayman Islands. One thing that would be really exciting is if we found, you know, a really healthy coral population because the Caribbean right now is going through such a huge extinction event with global warming that finding a reef that is far away from anthropogenic impacts or human impacts and also finding what we call a hope spot, it's really referring to any location where there's healthy biodiversity of organisms that provides hope for the future despite all of the impacts impacts that uh, the ocean is currently experiencing. So once we got the grant, uh, we were able to find a matching donor. And because of that, I was then able to reach out to a couple of other scientists that I thought could also complement this project. Right now, there's this really hard drive for everyone to be open and transparent with their data. So a lot of the people that I'm working with right now, one of our main goals is that everything that we document becomes open access. And that's one of the goals of this project is creating really strong data-driven conservation initiatives. This is how we keep it shape. It's not easy to plan an expedition like this, I have to admit. Any of these types of trips where we're mounting a new sonar on two some sort of vessel is often the most difficult part of the entire trip. It might be a number to call. There was a, a couple of hiccups, but we worked our way through it. And pretty ready, you know, to go out to sea and collect some data. Stonehenge, I'm not in Stonehenge. A lot of it is hope and chance that everything is going to all come together at the last minute. Oh, their gear didn't make it on the plane because they have to get on a tiny twin otter to get here and there are weight limitations. I guess their luggage didn't make priority, so hopefully it will arrive on the next flight over from Little Cayman, which should arrive at around 2.30. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. I started planning this about a year ago and it really didn't all come together I would say until roughly a month ago and, and really the reason we chose this time is weather related so we wanted to ensure we wouldn't come into a time when the seas were high or when we had tropical storms. So the weather is not good for us to make our way across the ocean today. We have like a certain number of dives we need to get done and now we've lost a full day of diving on the seamount. So that means that, you know, there's less time for error, I guess. I think it's okay, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm.